Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle with brand new, the best farming route. And yes, it is a Westec. We are actually inside Westec Research Center already, but it's pretty much very new Westec as everything changed with recent update. If you do not know yet what exactly changed, I will go over it. But basically we are inside the elevator. That's where I start and finish my circle. And before we go farther, how I calculate the experience, because I'm getting those questions, how I know how much experience I get after the run. And this is basically based on challenges. After I do all the challenges that can auto-complete during the run, like at this moment, there is nothing that can auto-complete during the run. Then I take into consideration this repeatable gain experience challenge, because every time you do this challenge, it's 10,000 experience. And to know how many times this 10,000 experience was triggered, you have your total score in here. Like this moment, 875 out of 1,250. And this is progressing by 100 whenever you earn additional 10,000 experience. And at the very end, you just need to subtract this number because we're not starting at zero out of 10,000, but 7,000 out of 10,000. And I need to subtract that. But that's basically the math behind experience. Now let me show you the run and I will be talking what is so great about this run. First thing, if you do not know, those super mutants are level 100, like all of them, with exception of Dogo. Dogo still have uh, random levels, but super mutants are all level 100. Okay, I forgot about something. A uh, bare mentats. Okay, I lost a little bit of experience, but that's not too big of a deal. It will be still fine. And... We're burning another super mutants. More super mutants. And you can see all those super mutants. Level 100. And if you sometimes enter West Tech and your super mutants are not level 100, you can have a question why is that? There are two reasons for that. If your level is low, then super mutants will be lower. And a second reason that this can happen is. When you run straight into Westec, like short after you load into the world, as basically the uh, game, the server need a little bit of a time to figure out what's your level actually is. And on the server lag, it can be a little bit longer or a little bit less time. It's not exactly the same, depend on the server. But after that, if you run straight up and you end up inside the Westec, I mean loading into the Westec before your level will actually fully load, then the game do not know that you are high level and basically load like a default level of super mutant, what's ranging from level 50 to 75 uh, mostly. And then you don't have all of them level 100. But if you are a little bit later, all level 100 or after they respawn, because yeah, there is, there is the thing that we can respawn them. We can basically infinitely keep respawning the West Tech without hoping the server. What's, what's so great. Uh, but from my observations so far, it's looked like you need to finish Steel Rain update in order to have ability uh, for those super mutants to respawn. As on my other characters that do they, didn't finish Steel, uh, Steel Rain update yet, uh, those super mutants are not respawning. At least not every time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, and I don't know why. If uh, if you will have a problem and you, let's say, finish a Wastelander, a Wastelander is what I'm saying, Steel Rain, and you still cannot get them to respawn, then let me know, because it will be interesting what can be causing that. For me, they are respawning, no problem. Okay, I'm a little bit uh, slower than usual because I'm talking, but generally this run is uh, really fast. After, after you have a hang on it, and uh, you run it correctly without missing any super mutant and going back for them then yes it is it is very fast like less than less than five minutes usually uh, to clear it up if i clear it i can hear this doggo okay uh, carry on and basically after doing the circle i will i will show you how i respawn them ah, not that Okay, my flamer just broke. Give me a second, please. Oh, and if you are 
curious how I'm doing that, that my flamer have a normal range and not super short. Uh, that's basically a quick trick to fix that. After you load into the server, you need in to go into the workbench. Uh, you change the barrel from uh, long to short and back to long, and that will fix the range. Unfortunately, this fix only works as long as you are on the server. After you hop the server, this fix need to be repeated then that's not perfect luckily with this technique i don't need to hop the server unless my game crash and here i go back and i go into this elevator because now we have a basement but don't worry there will be no spoiler apart from the fact that there is a basement and we go there there will be three more super mutants in the basement brand new basement now there is important thinking here you need to be sure that you spend at least one full minute inside this basement. Even if you kill those super mutants faster, you need to be sure that you take your time to spend here at least a full minute. If, if you finish faster, you don't go into the elevator un until the full minute pass. And those super mutants, as you see, uh, they're not level 100. I don't know exactly why, but there is a good chance that one of them will be a legendary. Quite often I'm getting one of them legendary. I mean, not every time, of course, but quite often. It's not a guarantee legendary, it's a high chance on a legendary. Now I'm back and I'm way too fast, therefore I will just open the elevator and wait. I need to wait another 20 seconds in here before I will go up. I cannot be too early in there. I usually crouch for the super mutant to do they don't start shooting at me before I'm there. Uh, that's handy because for, for whatever reason, I noticed that recently when we load in, there is like extended duration. We cannot move for at least like five seconds or so. Then yeah, crouching is, is a safe way. Okay, now full minute passed and I go back. I'm loading in and you can already see the super mutant are running around again. But I will not be killing them because I want to show you how much experience I earn from a single circle. Then you can see they, they all back. They all back. Upstairs as well. This one, the other, other guys. I will show you. I will try not to kill them. You see? They all in here. All in here. All of them are back. Oh, no, no, don't shoot me. Ah, I don't want to kill you. It will change the experience values. Okay, I managed to run away. Uh, now. Sometimes there is an issue that after you exit the elevator, super mutants will be naked and you cannot kill them. No worry about that. You can just go back into the elevator, go down, back up, and it should fix it. Alternatively, go out from the west deck, go back into the west deck, and it will fix them. Then they're not permanently broken. It's rather easy to fix them. Now, how much experience we got from this run. Now we are going back under the challenges and based on those values that I see my current progress towards the next 100 score and I see that I earn 700 score because it was before and we started a next rank then it's total of 700 score then it's like 68,000 after a quick calculation 68,000 experience then taking into consideration that you can do this run after you will practice it real well and you will be able to quickly kill those super mutants uh, about 11 times per hour without getting out from West Tech then that's giving us a whooping total of about 750,000 experience per hour. That's really insane. And that's without double experience. If you do that with double experience, like one and a half million, if you will actually rock all possible experience buffs, I'm close here, but not max out on those, then maybe you will get even more than one and a half million experience per hour. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's why I really like this place after the update. I just hope it's all intended, and if it's all intended, level 100 super mutant and respawning without hopping servers, then congrats to Bethesda and to developers, they did something great. If it's not intended, then I hope they will not touch it, because it's great. Uh, still, if you want to like keep farming this experience for hours, it will be extremely boring, but if you just need a boost to experience, or if we're talking just about score after you do your daily challenges, if you want to go in here and start running in circles, then yeah, 
that's great way to boost your ranks. Then I hope, I really hope it's intentional to work like that. And of course, let me know guys what you think about this farming route. Did you know that you can run it like that without ever exiting the West Tech? And how much experience it gives? If you did it, then I'm happy to help you. If you already know it and you are watching until the end, then thank you for your support. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.